The landmines and the explosive remnants of war uh, worldwide are uh, claiming a victim every two hours first. And uh, I think it's important to note that 70% of the victims of these landmines and explosive remnants of war are civilians and that more than 60 countries are still being polluted by landmines uh, in 2012. Then regarding the situation uh, for Syria, in 2012 Syria has been the only country using landmines uh, in, 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 in its country. Yeah. And are you seeing victims of those landmines coming across the border among the tens of thousands of refugees who are crossing from Syria into Jordan. Yeah, Handicap International is active and, and providing support and relief to, to victims of the conflict and uh, especially victims of mines and victims of, of, the, of the conflict, uh, victims of bombing and shellings as well and providing physiotherapy uh, and distribution of specific needs items to these people. And what types of injuries are landmines causing in Syria? Well, victims of man landmines are often uh, end up being amputees and, and, and some complex injuries like that. And, uh, and the situation for them being in a country inside Syria and the, the lack of access to health services is a clear issue. And, and when they reach Jordan, the situation is usually critical already for these people. What sort of education and help are you giving to people who are coming across from Syria and one day will want to go back? We uh, know from, from the heavy fightings and the intensification of the conflict in Syria that there are lots and lots and thousands of explosive remnants of war uh, that are very everywhere in the, the fighting ground and in residential area. And Syrians, when will they will go back to their country, that will be a major issue. And I think we can estimate that it will take decades before uh, Syria will be cleared of mines, so I think there is a large effort to be prepared in terms of risk awareness and sensitization to the uh, Syrians, as well as clearing and demining inside Syria will be a huge need uh, when access will be uh, available in Syria.